Welcome back, everybody, to Spirit Plays More Spiral Nights. If you could please, before we begin, click like button, subscribe down at the bottom right. If you want to see more in the future for more SK vids, it helps us out. The community grows stronger as we do. Anyway, um, true to the last point I was trying to make, anyway, um, we are going to do some arcade runs trying to heat up this Nightblade. I know, maybe I can go craft and have them reinvite me. I don't know. Um, so we can get our four star Nightblade and then continue the ascended route of heating up a four star item by the way i guess we wanted we were in the market of uh you know attempting to get a lot of forge boxes we might as well you know use up all these elites i constantly complain about it's a first world problem anyway we're doing the jade skull gate i'm looking down through the depths here we have a chance to hit one of these newer areas newer to comparatively right and at the last end like i was going to do amber titan but there's the threat the looming threat of a poison compounds in the end. Pardon me. So we are going to um Beautiful. I forgot that uh I forgot that the, the, the little little kitty cats could even spawn here. Oh right in front of it. Good job, Rain. Whoop. Whoop. Blah blah. I mean it's kinda like it. There is no neutral neutral antig antigua line. But it still does fairly decent damage. Obviously, we want to we we love a, a Valance a little bit more, but because this is technically fiend themed, actually, I probably should switch to Valance. It's just it's much fun. It's it's a more uh, satisfying gun. The the little like ping pongy tennis ball sound it makes when it comes out. It's my oh my gosh! Apparently, we were charging for like five minutes. Go, dude, come on, connection. I know it's been like a whole day since I reset you. Anyway, we have the we have the Sudoruska, so I mean we don't have a whole lot to complain about, to be honest with you. First world problems, we got them, we got them, boys. Whoop. I mean we're not yet to the point of the shadow weapon actually being a fairly significant oops, get in there, fairly significant force. Perhaps it is. If it is, I cannot see it. Can you just, uh, I think I got him. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it is hard to distinguish the purple beast from the others. But we did it. I think I, I'm, I'm definitely going to switch to the, uh, the Lance, dude. I'm, oh my goodness. What is, what is this red bar madness? Hold on. Is there something updating I'm not aware of? Is my phone being a little bit more overreaching than it usually is? I know it's, it's just about... It's just about, uh, hold on. <laughs> Sudoruska got a little tiny there for a minute. Oh, my mistake. Babu. No, we don't want to charge this. This is not the weapon. I don't know, you guys ever have this happen? We're just like, why? Why? Why do I have a red bar? Why do I have a white bar? Why do I have four star, four bars? It's truly a first world problem. You're, you're, you have the the entire networking of the of human accumulated knowledge, at least from a uh, civilian standpoint. And you're complaining about you know, a little things in the game. Apparently, we're up here now. <laughs> this is my life. You get a you get a sense of humility when you're like, ah, yeah, I, I I guess this is just how we're gonna act, dude. This is just getting a little bit a little bit frustrating. I want to go see if my wife's awake in a minute, because this is just beyond frustrating. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? You're gonna have to give me a minute. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna... This is my time. This is my... This, how dare you steal my time? As if my time is more precious than somebody else's, but I'm gonna peek in there and see if my wife's on the internet. I'll be right back while we go down. Stand by. There's a little bit of dare to air for you.
Maybe I got no idea. But. Sorry. I did get Pop Tarts. Which are delicious. What are we doing? Here we are. So my wife is not the culprit. I just peeked in there and saw, oh my gosh, this is just going to continue all night. I just did the slime boss with no issue whatsoever. Dude, it's a shame those rubies don't do damage. That would be neat. Didn't even need it. You guys are stronger beyond all comparison. What's next, boys? Ah, duh. Not again. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Dude, I, I don't know how to deal with this. I do. I'm dealing with it right now. We just keep up the positive affirmation. We can do this, boys. We are meant for bigger and better things. We say... It, <laughs> there's a statement that just doesn't, doesn't bounce with the reality. If I want it really badly, if I just believe, it'll happen. Why doesn't that work? Because, uh, you know... <laughs> oh, man. Just ask my wife. Yeah. Just don't ask my internet connection. But anyway, sincerity doesn't often equal reality. I really think that uh, I should have... I really feel passionately about having... Is this our life now? <laughs> about having a... <laughs> don't devalue yourself, my man. Being Asian's amazing. Oh, there's the train. Anyway, is this is our life. Is this is our our constant struggles with uh, the first world problems of our day. People running through walls. This is painful to watch, man. I think it's painful to watch. It's quite painful to experience. <laughs> but at least I have a cool sounding train out there. Oh no. And slowly backed into it. Is it safe out there? Whoop, whoop. Oh no, we're dead. Yup. Nah, nah. <laughs> I need mouth to mouth. Blue. A fellow blue. That's not really true. I haven't been, a, I haven't been blue flood in like ages, dude. Has it been like six years? It's been something like that. Oh, I forgot to heat my freaking blade. That's how, that's how, oh no, did I? <laughs> I have to check mid-combat. I most certainly did. That's okay. We got a long way to go with this, uh, with this arcade run. It's going to be extremely long if this is the way we're going to do things. Oh my gosh. So I know it's on my side as well. If it was not just on my side, here's where we use the power of reason and deduction. Um, you know, sincerity doesn't equal results. You know, hard work does with reason bouncing off reality and using the rules of the game. Can I at least get on this? <laughs> and this is why we can't do Vanna. Anyway. Well, our, our Nightblade will at least get to level 3, perhaps level 4, and then I'll go reset my router. I don't want this to last longer than it has to. Wow. Just give us ample opportunity to enjoy chocolate chip cookies, which are hands down America's best, one of America's best uh, features. Right next to the amazing Whopper. Oh my gosh, double level up. I might request a reinvite. But it's Mutu Yu Yu. <laughs> what a name. Oh, I'm ready. Bring it on, boys. Yeah. Thought you were going to sneak attack me, huh? Fantasy Tony? Is that like the guy from uh, Three's Company? Wow, am I dating myself? You know, not, not dating in the sense of like courting, but dating in the sense of, uh, you know, the, the age type dating. You know, like how archaeology, why do I have to define these terms? Because people are silly and take things out of context. Is cheating wrong? Yes. <laughs> it violates the rules of the game. Not if it doesn't hurt anybody. 
But that's still, you're, that's, that's metaphysics versus physics, versus reality. The laws of logic exist. They're unchanging, unaffected by us. It's like, uh, same with deity, I would, I would argue. The, the laws, of the, the metaphysical laws are, are quite important. Even though it's like, you know, the, the whole thing like, it's wrong even if nobody sees you. Yes, it still is, by definition. Because you're still violating the terms of reality and consistency. Laws of logic are objective. I mean, that's, that's and to me, just right there, that's proof of uh, the transcendent. It's proof of God. But that's a, that's not it for everybody, and sometimes it takes a bit for that to uh, for that to sink in. And I can understand that. You guys had a great long gremlin life. You teleported in and got spawn killed, though. I mean, that happens. Like in a uh, PUBG, <laughs> getting punched in the ankles in the air. I don't know. Is that even a thing? Oh, I'm gonna do what he did, except a little better. I'm no, just kidding. Somebody had a blitz. <laughs> Yada! Crap. This is uh, this is what we call Trojan combat. I totally jacked that up. <laughs> That's what we call bad Trojan combat, I guess. Yada! Not again. Can I just break that shield? Wait, wait, wait. Does he have the same shield that we do? It, they, just a bigger version. The ancient shield, by the way. Thank you, Internet, for clearing, clearing up. Here's where you uh, get to feel grateful for what you had. The sense of gratitude, though, that's if you're not me, if you're not like jumping into every day with a sense of gratitude, I'd strongly recommend it. It's it's a it's a beautiful thing to have. It makes everybody feel better. Like it, it strengthens the group. You know, the the like if you are not entering a world with a sense of gratitude. You find yourself every, like, and you draw. You bring everybody else down with you, as if you deserve something, as if you, just by being you, the transcendent you, even though you know you're finite. You see where babies come from. Everybody has a beginning. The transcendent you deserve something that you have not earned. Like we deserve human rights. Says who? How do how do we deserve this? What have we done pre-existing to ourselves to earn this? Well, you we have to give it globally, because we don't want us not to have them so therefore by definition we have to have a kind of like a transcendent moral law that says human beings should not be used be used to kill kill but then you can redefine you know how that works as well so in that um that whole forum discussion of cheating that was going on um the catacomb kids we missed yesterday's episode hold on I present the regular argument like why can you not blush anyway sorry dancing had took precedent right there for a minute but I make the uh, you know people one person said after a while we're discussing cheating why won't one person why do you always have to dance around give me like these these very semantic logical answers why can't you just tell me how you feel and give me your opinion on your feeling i said well i guess this this is a common fallacy you got to be careful about feeling because you can everybody makes the worst decisions in their life when they're feeling and uh same with uh logic like we gotta we gotta make sure we chew we go this way first because the other way is the, the way we're supposed to go <laughs> did it i don't know why i thought that'd, that'd be a good idea i'm gonna pretend i'm mega man for a minute <laughs> But, like, we wear head and heart. We're a mixture of the two. Like, your head is your logic side. Heart is your passion and emotion. Like, you have to have one regulated, regulate the other. You can't, you, we're a mixture of both. You know, you can rationalize, if we go pure your head, you can rationalize your way to people, that people are worth only a monetary value. Therefore, they're only defined by their usefulness. But if we're hard, everybody makes the worst decisions in their life when, when they're when they're led by heart. Because it's just passion. It's unregulated, unmitigated, straight up passion. So you gotta like you gotta be careful with that stuff. And then I left, because that was my time to leave, because I thought the discussion would just kind of dry dive down. It did not. Holy crap, I've never seen an argument go over a day. I did a lot of reading. I mean it's, it's just line by line text, so it wasn't wasn't too extreme. I mean, it wasn't like 
a thousand page documentary or something. But it was a. Uh, what was I talking about? Anyway, head and oh yeah, head and heart. That's right. He's like, but the the brain controls both the emotion and the logic. Like a, but in my mind, I wish I could have been there to respond. I'm like, that's still regardless of what controls controls both of them, we still we still are a measure of the two. The, the, there's a lot of uh, you, you can do things like categorical errors, right? When we when we start talking about one thing and then end up talking about another. So when we're talking about cheating and they say why is cheating wrong, and then I immediately counter, <clears throat> which is the root of the issue. Why is anything wrong with anything? You know, you set the definition. If you violate the definition, then yes, that would be considered wrong because goodness in itself is purpose. Goodness is purpose. And when you, the, the question then becomes whose purpose? Uh, but if you are going by purpose and you set the def definitions as how things should be, violating the way that things should be by definition is, is bad, is wrong. You know, dishonesty is in the is in the name of is in the the name of cheating. I, mean, I don't want to get too far into this because when we talk about cheating, then I mean that's just in my brain. I have skipped away from talking about auto target. Now auto target's interesting because it's kind of in the game, but at the same time, it's it's like a built-in deficiency for players that have a lower connections. But I'm talking specifically about the uh, the lockdown room. I know it it is what it is. It is auto assist, auto aiming, auto target. However you want to call it, and it is what it is. Ooh. Excuse me. Mike, you want to help me out here? Stun him. I don't even know if it goes. Oh, he vanished. The ethereal form. Holy crap. This? This? It's a lot of things. That's all it is. Oh my gosh, the Asian. He's joined us. Anyway. We try not to violate purpose here. What is the purpose of SK? So when, I, when we talk about auto target, um, I used to use auto target, single shot, ASI, max, basically Antigua lines to, to like stun lock people until uh, I got this revelation by Feller to be like, yo, do you know what that does to a lower pinging player? Or sorry, higher pinging player. I basically get snapped back like two or three tiles all the time and I can't move. And my aunt, my, I'm like, yeah, that doesn't sound right, because I watch things from, like, a lower person's perspective. Of today. Speaking of Asians. Anyway, lower perspective, something, something, something. Spirit, I can set the ball. <laughs> okay, go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. I'm ready. We got, we got a combo trap going on here. Blah, blah. I'm like ear to ear smiles, dude. This guy, this guy, we got plans. <laughs> speed running Vanaduke? Try speed running a graveyard, their illusion. Yeah. <laughs> I feel good. I feel pretty. I feel useful. Their usefulness is a thing. Anyway, violating terms, violating goodness when you try to, like, establishing definitions is, is extremely important. Extremely. Because oftentimes when you start debating topics like this, it's it's a lot of the time reaching common... This is why relationship is so important. If you really know a person, you find you can talk to them quite easily. Why can you talk to them? Because you have a lot of relatable experiences. You have a lot of shared definitions. You have a lot of commonalities. Does that make sense? So it's easier to communicate ideas. Even if the ideas are, you know, you have differing opinions, you can still even communicate that correctly. So you spend a lot of time establishing definitions. Once you have definitions established, you can either concede or agree to points. Now, this is why debate topics are a little tough, because usually people that are debating the specific topics, and even the political realm, they don't care to know the other person. They just want to prove their point. So we got things like filibusters, etc., etc. Anyway, let's let's heat this up, yo. Nightblade level five. Oh, could we craft in here? Hold on, hold on. Can crafting be done? No, no. We want the. We need a four star. Crap. Can we though? I mean, I gotta buy them. Unfortunately. Yeah. I 
Anyway, I think I'll do it for this one. Look at those flashy bombs. Once again, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Take care.